Welcome back to another season of the Wyoming Women's Business Center webinar series. Today's topic will cover the WWBC's microloan application process and documentation. I am Jonathan Howdyshell, one of the business counselors for the Wyoming Women's Business Center, and I will be your host. Our presenter today is Waldo Smith. He is the Wyoming Women's Business Center microloan director and a business counselor here. Waldo has several years of experience in agricultural lending, commercial loans, and micro lending. He is proficient in preparing and analyzing balance sheets, income statements, and cash flow projections, and monitoring adherence to them. He also spent four years as a financial director for a local nonprofit prior to joining the WWBC. This webinar is being recorded and will be available on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com and type in Wyoming Women's Business Center. Make sure you subscribe and check out our other webinars. If you have any questions during the presentation, please type them in the questions or chat area and I will ask them for you. Now, without further ado, I present to you Waldo Smith. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to our webinar. We're glad to have you with us. Uh, if We thought we'd try something new uh, today. Over the years, many times I've heard people describe or I've talked to them on the phone and I've developed a mental picture of what I think they look like. And then I meet them in person and they don't look anything like what uh, I had envisioned. So we thought we'd help you put a face with a name today and starting up the broadcast uh, with showing you my webcam. Yes, my name is Waldo, as Jonathan said. Uh, no, I don't wear a red and white striped shirt and stocking hat. I gave up my glasses years ago for contacts. Uh, but if anybody ever asks, where's Waldo, you can tell them that, uh, well, he's at the Wyoming Women's Business Center. Now, if we could just find Carbon San Diego, we'd be all set. So, again, thank you for joining us. We're going to take a look at what it takes to apply for a business loan. So let me switch gears here. And we're going to be looking at the application process. And this applies not only for the Wyoming Women's Business Center's microloan program, but for any loan, business loan you're looking at applying for, to or for. Uh, if you're looking at starting a business, you've obviously got an idea uh, or are you seen an opportunity, uh, you've thought about how you're going to do this, and you come up with the, the eventual conclusion that, hey, it's going to take some money to get this off the ground. Where am I going to get the money? Uh, there's a lot of ways you can do that. You can uh, look around and see what excess stuff you might have that you could sell. Uh, you could talk to family and friends, maybe go through a Kickstarter program. Um, if your business is, is going to be a, a large one and you eventually plan on going national, then you might want to look at do it, forming a corporation and selling shares of stock in that corporation to raise the funds. But, eventually, but somehow you're going to have to come up with some money. And that most likely will include borrowing, uh, taking out a loan from someone. So the first step I would ask if you were to come to me and, and talk about this process, is how is your credit? Uh, pull a credit bureau report on yourself. You can go to places like freecreditreport.com, uh, Credit Karma. Make sure it's some place that's free. You are able to get at least one credit report a year at no cost to you, and it will show you what, uh, is, what a lender will see when they pull your credit report. And so you want to look for things, uh, a history of late payments. Uh, they're going to um, adversely affect your score. If you have any collections or judgments outstanding, you might want to get those paid first, or at least start working on them. And if you have a bankruptcy in your background, uh, that could cause some lenders to shy away, depending on how recent it was. Uh, so you may want to prepare a, an explanation as to what was behind that bankruptcy. Why was it necessary to file? 
if your credit score is below 620, you may have to do a little bit of work. Uh, that's kind of a threshold that a lot of lenders use. Some of them go lower than that. But if you're above 620, you shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't be as much of a concern. So then the next step, if you've got your credit uh, kind of in hand, know where you're at, the next uh, step would be to write a business plan. There's an old adage that says, if you fail to plan, then plan to fail. And that's kind of harsh. Uh, but a business plan is, is more like a, a road map. If you're going on a long trip, you want to check out and see on the map where you're going, what routes you're going to take. Uh, if you're building a house, you're going to need a blueprint uh, as to give to the contractor so that he knows where everything's going to be, how it's going to look, uh, be put together. And so a business plan is a blueprint or a roadmap for what you're thinking of doing. I'm, I'm going to steal a, a, a quote from Yogi Berra that says, if you don't know where you are going, you might wind up someplace else. And so the business plan helps you think things through, gives you an idea, will this actually work, or am I looking at things uh, with rose-colored glasses on and I need to take a realistic approach. Some of the things you'll want to put in your business plan or want to do as part of it is explain what your business is and what makes it different uh, than anyone else. Uh, you'll need to look into what legal requirements that you'll have. Are you going to need a license of some kind? You'll want to take a look at what your competition will be and how are you going to address that competition. How are you going to market? Uh, there's a lot of things that go into a business plan, and we're not going to get into that today uh, because that's a whole different topic. If you're interested, we do have a webinar on YouTube uh, strictly devoted to business plans so that you can uh, get an idea how to put one together. If you need assistance, you can contact uh, either our office, the Small Business Development Center, or there is a template that you can get off the Small Business Administration website at www.sba.gov. Once you've gotten your business plan written, uh, then the next step is to do some financial projections and they are actually a part of the plan. So as you're looking at your business, uh, first thing you're going to do is take a look at what is an itemization of funds you will need to get started. Uh, then you'll want to take a look at what are the ca what does a cash flow projection look like for this next 12 months and beyond. And you'll want to take a look at what a break-even analysis uh, is for your business. A um, couple of examples. Here's one example of what a cash flow would look like, a monthly cash flow. You can see uh, here you're looking at income, when are you going to have sales, when are you going to receive payments, here you're looking at what expenses are you going to have uh, and when are they going to occur. And it shows the money coming in, the money going out, and what is your balance. Um, if you have a negative balance here at the cash position, then that means you're going to need to borrow money for those months. And a lot of times with a startup business, the first couple of months are negative because the sales just haven't materialized yet. So uh, at that point, you're going to include that money in to your loan request. I'm going to, again, switch gears and show you another example of this. Here, it, this is a template that SCORE uh, uses. Uh, it is an organization that works through the SBA to help businesses. It's uh, retired people that have been in business themselves and offer mentoring. 
And so on this particular form, you see, okay, what expenses am I going to have? Do I need to purchase real estate? Do I need to put up a building, make improvements? Do I need to buy equipment or vehicles? What are those costs going to be? Uh, operating expenses to start with. Do you have to pay insurance up front? Are you going to have to buy some inventory? Do you have to make a deposit on rent or utilities or buy supplies? What advertising do you need to do up front? So these are items that you'll need to identify. You'll need to put a quantitative figure to it and it's best just to list it down. Uh, this particular template has a means of uh, determining what your wages are going to be if you're going to have hired help. What are your fixed costs going to be each month for advertising, for utilities, for rent? It helps you do sales projections. Uh, I'm going to sell uh, such and such item at such and such price. How many do you think you'll sell per month? That all flows into a cash an income statement or a cash flow projection on a month by month basis. And so this will help you determine what your financial needs will be during at least the first 12 months of your loan. So let's go back here. Again, we can help you with those projections. We have temp several different types of templates here. Uh, the SBDC can help you with that. Uh, our assistance in all of these areas are no cost to you. So it's just a matter of, of giving us a call, stopping in and shooting us an email. Our contact information will be uh, shown at the very end. So once business plan written, and your financial projections completed, then the next step is to go visit your local bank or credit union. Well, why am I telling you that if I'm supposed to be giving you information on how to get a loan from us? Because of our funding sources, we cannot compete with local lending institutions for loan customers. So in order to get a loan or qualify for a loan from us, you first must apply for your bank and receive a denial from them or uh, find out that they cannot make the loan to you in rates and terms that are reasonable. Uh, once you've met that requirement, then you can make application to us. Now, why would we send you to the bank other than the not being able to compete? Well, in the current interest rate environment, if you have uh, a good credit score, if you have a little bit of a down payment, if you have some collateral that you can offer, good chances are the bank's rates and terms will be uh, more beneficial to you than what ours might be. Uh, we loan on a higher risk basis, and so if they can help you out, it might be to your advantage to check with them first. If you've been to the bank and they say, no, we can't help you at this time, then uh, you can make application with us. And uh, the best way to do that is either contact us or visit our website. And our website is wyomingwomen.org. If you go to that site, you'll see a tab called Access to Capital. And under that is the microloan program. And so if you click there, It'll give a definition or a description of what our microloans look like. It gives you the forms, uh, kind of a checklist of what things we will ask for so that you can bundle all that information together to submit uh, either by mail or drop off or whatever is most convenient for you. So again, wyomingwomen.org. Look under the Capital Access tab for microloans and you'll find the forms that you need. So then thing is to just print out the application. Uh, you could actually download it and fill it out and then print it. Uh, if you have a co-applicant, which would be maybe a spouse or a partner, they would fill out the co-applicant section 
Uh, fill it out as completely as you can. If you have any questions, you can contact us and we can walk you through that. But we will need a signed application. Uh, we will need a $50 application fee. That fee goes to towards purchasing or uh, buying the credit bureau report that we pull. And we do pull a tri-union uh, credit report. Uh, we ask for your business plan and we ask you for, for your financial projections. Uh, specifically, we want a 12-month cash flow projection for the first year. That's a month by month. And then we also like to see what you anticipate year two and three look like. And those can be just annual figures. Uh, going back up to the, the application fee, I should point out that if the loan is approved and we close it, there is a 1% origination fee at time of closing, but the $50 counts towards that origination fee. So it's, in, it's subtracted off from what you would owe at the time we close the loan. In addition to those items, we ask for the last two years of personal tax returns. Uh, so your 1090 or 1040 for, for in this case, would be 2014 and 2015. If your business is already up and running and you are a corporation, then you will have had to have filed a business tax return as well. So we would ask for those in addition. Uh, if you are a LLC or a sole proprietorship, then You'll, it's all reported on your personal tax returns, but we will need to see the Schedule C in that case. And then if you have any additional supporting documents, uh, like the, a written explanation for a bankruptcy, or you have collateral that you're offering, uh, such as a vehicle title or a um, piece of real estate, maybe you want to offer equity in your home as collateral, uh, or you're looking at buying specific equipment, if you have some invoices that show what the value of those are, include those with the packet, those, that would be very helpful. I do want to point out that we are uh, in business thanks to a funding partners which include the Wyoming Business Council the U.S. Small Business Administration and the USDA Rural Development, so we thank them for their assistance. And this is our my contact information. Uh, I, both my office number and cell phone number are listed. The location of our office in Laramie, our mailing address, if you mail your application in, please send it to the P.O. Box. And then here is my uh, email address and our fax number. So it looks like we have some questions. Um, I will open it up now. I went through things rather quickly. I thought it would be easier to answer any specific questions you might have. So excellent presentation, Waldo. Thank you so much. Um, I do have one question when an individual does contact the Wyoming Women's Business Center and um, they are not complete with all the uh, information that they need to have. Um, how do the counselors assist the individuals in getting all that together? Okay, if you submit an application, uh, I will review everything that you've sent in and if there's something lacking, if, if, we, if we think that the uh, business plan needs a little bit more fine-tuning. If we have some questions, uh, we will either uh, contact you and give you specific suggestions on what you need to do. Uh, if you've got financials that uh, don't make any sense or you're having trouble with putting the financials together, uh, we will sit down and work with you. We can do that a, a variety of ways. Um, if it's convenient, we can meet with you. If it's not convenient because of distance, we can use uh, a go-to meeting, in which case we can communicate over the internet 
and we can actually help you with uh, uh, writing your plan or doing your projections. Uh, a lot of times we can just handle it through email or via phone and so the main thing is just communicating and we would get back to you and let you know what's needed in order to make the application complete. Thank you. Do you happen to have any templates or available resources to get uh, an individual started that might not know uh, what, to, uh, what to populate for their business and financials? Yes, I do. Um, as far as a, a business plan goes, the best template I've seen is one on the SBA website like I talked about. It's at uh, sba.gov and then if you type business plan in their search window, uh, it'll take you to their template. Uh, that walks you through step uh, several a series of questions in different areas to help you think about things that you need to talk about or include. Uh, as far as the financials go, uh, I've got several different uh, templates that I can use. The one I showed from SCORE, I've got a copy of the template that the SBDC uses. Um, and if, if you need personalized help, if you'd rather meet to someone face-to-face uh, -face and you live in outstate Wyoming, uh, outside of Laramie, um, one other option is to contact your local SBDC or the SBDC individual who services your particular area and they can help you with those as, as well as we can. But in answer to your question, yes, I have various um, templates that I can send you uh, to help you do those projections. They help you determine what your startup costs are, uh, help you determine what your monthly expenses are going to be, help uh, plan out what your sales and, and a lot of it's just a scientific guess uh, because you don't know how sales or how income is going to take place. Expenses are easier to um, come up with or to estimate, uh, but uh, the sales sometimes is just what what do you th is, is a best guess situation. Thank you, Waldo. That that's a great point about the uh, financial projections and the prediction of what the future will hold for the business. We don't obviously know what's going to happen, but by reviewing and planning and uh, putting these numbers down on paper to be able to review them and have somebody else help you review them, it makes a lot of sense to say this was it, this is a good uh, general outline to see the future and maybe you want to change this, maybe you want to change that. Um, and it, it definitely helps to solidify a plan to get the business started, get it running, and get it to a point where if you do have obstacles, you are, you've already thought about them, you've already uh, organized your plan to potentially deal with these obstacles. And planning, without this planning, um, a lot of people aren't going to go in the direction, like you said, in, in the, the Yogi Berra quote. Um, so does anybody else have any questions while we have Waldo here? I'm going to back up a few slides and, and say again, okay, this is what you, whether you're coming to us or whether you're going to a bank, these are the things that you should take with you or make sure you have already taken care of. Um, if you're going to a bank, they're probably going to have an application form for you to complete. If you're coming here, download our application form. Have your business plan written out. And again, I can't stress enough, we are here to help you with that. We are. Uh, that's uh, what our job entails, and we're more than happy to help you. The same with the financial projections. Um, contact us. Uh, we can walk you through figuring that out or give you ideas on where to look to get the information that you need. Gather your tax returns, uh, make sure they're filed, uh, and bring a copy of those with you, plus any supporting documents. And then um, good luck to you. Uh, if it, to, to carry on um, on our part, if you submit an application, once we have all of that information on, in hand and complete, we do an analysis of it, 
we do an internal review to make sure there aren't any questions left out there that need to be answered. And then we take the application to a loan committee uh, made up of five They review the plan, they review the financial projections uh, and uh, what it is you're looking at doing. And if it all makes sense and uh, they are comfortable with it, they will approve the loan. And then at that point, I get in contact with you. I draw up the loan documents. Uh, we schedule a time to, to meet and close the loan, sign papers, and we advance the funds to you. Uh, it's about typically about a three-week process, three to four weeks, uh, because not, typically applications are missing something, and so we go back and forth to get questions answered. Uh, our loan committee uh, meets. We try to meet on an on a as-needed basis. That's usually about once a month. And so if I just had a committee meeting last week and your application comes in this week, it may be a week or two before we schedule another loan committee. So that's the, the process, that's the information that we seek and ask for, and uh, we're here to help you put all that together. Well, thank you, Waldo, and thank you, everybody, for joining us. As you can see, the contact information is on the screen in front of you. Um, Please make sure to fill out the survey at the end, and uh, please keep an eye out for information on our next webinar. We will be sending out an invitation to join for next month. Um, and again, I want to thank everybody for joining. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Have a great day. Thank you.